Hi, so we're, we're in the, the Shirebrook Valley Nature Reserve, about five miles south east of Sheffield, just on the uh, just on the edge of the A57. Uh, I'll put the map on screen now. So we're, we're just that area, just, just north of the A57. Uh, we've just come to explore some of the trails, um, which there's quite a few of, uh, and there's quite a, quite a few interesting things to find as well. So uh, stick around and we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Happy New Year! It's the, uh, it's the 4th of January today. Got the A57 over there. Uh, we've just walked up from Baton. It's about, it's about 20 minutes walk from uh, from my house. So we're just starting on the on the east side of the nature reserve, uh, over from Baton. So this used to be a former a former landfill site. Um, that's now been reclaimed as a nice uh, a nice place to, to walk, run, and cycle. So you've got Crystal Peaks just off in that direction there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and that over there, that's the uh, that's the, the village of Hackenthorpe. It's a bit windy, so I hope you can hear me. I've um, just invested in a, one of those microphone, sponge microphone covers. Um, cause some of the footage I've been taking uh, on recent outings has not been uh, usable at all because of the wind noise. So we'll see if this makes a difference. The weather's looking a bit grim. Um, I was going to come out yesterday, um, but it was uh, it was so dark yesterday. I thought I'm not going to get much filming done in that in that light, uh, and it wasn't the best weather. So um, I held off today because it was forecast uh, a lot better weather today. But that's not materialised so far. We've just had a snow shower, as you can see, plenty of potential for rain. It's just a bit of drizzle and sleet now. Still a bit of ice on the ground. We had um, the day before yesterday. We had um, quite a bit of snow just after lunch. Yeah, so we're just on the uh, on the former landfill site on the east side of the nature reserve. So we're going to drop down into um, what was a, um, a former sewage works, Coisley Hill Sewage Works, uh, and before that it was uh, it was home to. Um, five water wheels that, that powered sickle and scythe mills um, there's not much evidence of that at the moment but there, there's a couple of uh, couple of remains of some old dams that we're gonna go and uh, have a look at uh, and just see what we can see Let me wipe that lens uh, just see what we can see there's uh, I was out here with my wife a couple of days ago and there was plenty of old uh, brickwork and remains to explore I live about a mile away from this site, and I've so many times I've um, I've sort of run and cycled down this path. It used to be my way to work when I cycled to work for a while. I've never deviated off this main path, and uh, so much to explore on this side. I don't know if it's coming across how dark it is at the moment really really I'm resisting putting the uh, putting the waterproof on I've got a, a windproof jacket at the moment yes yeah, so this is my first outing since turning 40 uh, I don't know if anyone saw the video I put up um, I just did a little bit of a, a light-hearted video diary so uh, I did get some uh, some feedback that it was more like an eight-year-old's birthday than a 40 year old's birthday but never mind it's about having fun there's not a lot of fun at the moment going off in the world there's loads of these uh, blue things around look like holes locked up not sure what they are I'm not sure if something to do with the it says on observation monitoring something to do with the landfill I assume there's loads huge manhole covers as well everywhere
apart from the noise from the road that you can probably hear um, very few people out today I think everybody's uh, everybody's gone back to work or school today so I think we're just coming up to the, the site of the first um, first dam here we are so it's rainbow dam Still some of the dam wall there. So we can squeeze through. Still quite a bit of brickwork and going off in that direction. So glad I'm in my uh, hiking boots and trousers today, and not my running uh, running shorts. So you can see that the wall's going off in that direction. It's covered quite a quite a lot of undergrowth now. So you can still you can still just about make out the uh, the walls that I, I assume was from the from the pond or the reservoir or whatever was behind the dam. They're so hidden by undergrowth now. There's, there's a lot of um, dismantled brickwork um, scattered around these woods. I assume it's from the forge. We're just behind the just behind Rainbow Dam, and uh, there's some kind of gate. So I'm assuming that was some kind of building. Mill cottages or the mill or the forge. Just having a, having a closer look at these. Uh, again, there's a lot of, lot of dismantled brickwork. You can definitely make out a, a wall of some description there. First, uh, that was the first dam um, that we've got, um, Rainbow Dam. The second dam is, uh, is Carforge Dam. Um, and the estates just over the other side of the A57 in Hackenthorpe, they carry the, the two names of the dam. So there's lots of roads starting with Rainbow and lots of roads starting with uh, Carforge. Yeah, so so much hidden uh, away in the trees, just off the path. If you if you're prepared to go and uh, explore a little bit off the uh, off the trodden path, I think we're just leaving uh, leaving that little settlement now, Rainbow Dam. It's like the top of a bridge, archway, bricks. I presume that used to be uh, the old bridge before it's filled in.
So I'm just trying to see if I can uh, get a, ooh, that's sharp. Um, get a, a better look at the dam. So this is the this is the this is the dam wall. And that's the uh, that's the weir, top of the weir that we just walked over. Water wheels in total, um, I understand. Uh, uh, and I think one of the the only ones that you can see remains of is called Nether Wheel, which we're, we're coming up to at the moment. I'm really not sure how much you can see, um, but the water wheels they weren't for powering the mills or the forges. They were they were for powering the machine that uh, that sharpened the, the sickles and scythes, which were produced in the valley. So we've uh, we've come out at the west end of the of the nature reserve. So I think there is still some some things to see the other side of the road. But we're gonna that's as far as we're gonna go. I've not seen any remains of the wheel. Yeah, so nothing down this side. I don't know what I was I don't know what I uh, was expecting to find. I don't think I was expecting to find a, a wheel because I know that's not here. But possibly some. Uh, old structure so I don't know if I'm looking in the right place or not so if anyone knows or anyone's got any pointers just let, let me know in the comments just come across a, a structure in the in the woods just off a little path so it's like a, a circular a circular brick structure and I don't think it's to do with any wheels the bricks look the bricks look too modern Possibly something from the old sewage works, perhaps. Not sure if that means I'm standing in human excrement. the amphitheater looks like the leftover of a snowman so you can see that's where we started baiting and we walked all that way to there and we're currently there 
So this is the, uh, the old manager's office that's now been turned into a visitor centre. So the, the, visit, the visitor centre doesn't look tremendously appealing with all the shutters and things on. I, uh, I gather from what I know about the, uh, the area, it does suffer from a, quite a bit of antisocial behaviour. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a shame. Everything seems to be covered in graffiti. Um, I used to cycle down this path early in the morning, about 7am. Um, coming home from work, I used to be coming home to, um, to kind of abandoned settees just in the middle of the, of the trail there. So it's, um, I think they've had some issues with fly tipping in the past. So it's a shame. It's quite a pretty little area. It's a car park. Yeah, so a lot of what we've just been looking at was from the old uh, old sewage works um, that closed in the in the 1990s.